Good afternoon, everyone. The very reason NYCBC BAMIS community members are here in front of the United Headquarters is to state a demonstration reflecting what is happening in Myanmar right now, so that the UN officials and other capable persons around the world know the challenges and cruelty facing Myanmar people. In Myanmar, since the February coup, thousands of people have been brutally murdered by the military terrorists led by General Min Aung Hlaing and the third wave of COVID-19 outbreak. Thousands of pro-democracy activists, youth, professionals and elected officials have been arbitrarily detained and denied human rights, justice and legal aid. Myanmar civilians do not have access to medical care and there is a serious spread of COVID-19 infections across the country and in persons. Excuse me, in prisons. Me online tends a blind eye to our people. The coup leader only cares about sustaining the power that he is attempting to claim against people's will. Here, you will see a patient with COVID-19 infection suffering from lack of oxygen as well as the inhumane treatment by a terrorist military soldiers cutting off oxygen and medical supplies from her. On top of that, the lives of medical professionals treating patients in Myanmar are under constant threat. Many of them have been arbitrarily detained and so many have been murdered by the military. In this part, we are showing that pro-democracy students have been shot, arrested and tortured, and many have been killed. In addition to war weapons, the terrorist military uses the COVID-19 virus as a biological weapon to massacre the people of Myanmar. Next scene shows how two global powers, China and Russia, interfere and exploit small and developing countries like Myanmar for their own interests. To them, it is merely a gain and a business. In this sense, the UN is still indifferent to Myanmar's people suffering, doing nothing more than issuing superficial statements like UN is deeply concerned about Myanmar. These statements go nowhere and bring no real help for our people.
starting February 1st in Myanmar, the killing has not stopped. Military terrorists have slaughtered over a thousand protesters and bystanders in a cold blood. Myanmar clearly is incapable of governing the nation and protecting its people. The terrorist military has destroyed Myanmar's health system developed by civilian government led by the state councillor Aung San Suu Kyi. This horrifying situation in Myanmar cannot be overlooked. We, the Burmese people living in the United States and striving for democracy in our bad country Myanmar, ask the UN officials and war leaders to help Myanmar with affected interventions and save the lives of our people. Thank you very much. Thank you.